Supreme Court says the Constitution does not ensure a painless execution. Washington The Supreme Court ruled Monday that the Constitution does not guarantee a painless. By a 5-4 vote, the court rejected Russell Buckley's claim it would be cruel and unusual punishment to inject him because it could trigger a hemorrhage and choking. He maintained the state. The case provoked a sharp ideological divide within the court over carrying out executions. The court's conservatives, led by Justice Neil M. Gorsuch, complained that death row inmates and their lawyers were using last-minute appeals to delay executions for years. Bucklew had faced the Justice Sonia Sotomayor rebutted those comments. There. Bucklew's lower court appeals ran out last year, but the justices halted his execution when Justice Anthony M. Kennedy cast a fifth vote with the four liberals. But after hearing the full appeal, the court rejected his constitutional claim Monday, with Justice Brett M. Kavanaugh who joined the court after Kennedy's retirement, forming a majority with the other four conservatives. Speaking in the courtroom, Gorsuch said, they Gorsuch said the inmate had the burden of showing there is an alternative. In 1996, Buckley went on a violent rampage after his girlfriend tried to end their relationship. When she fled to him, Kavanaugh had sounded undecided during the oral argument in November, but he cast the fifth vote for the majority. He said the opinion, the court's four liberals said the decision creates a serious. Breyer also argued that the majority was wrong to look back to the country's founding to decide what is cruel and unusual punishment. They Visit the Los Angeles Times at